Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Unprocessed. Uh, this is a song called Thrash um, from this album. This album's not out until the beginning of December, like the 1st of December, and it's called And Everything In Between. Um, this came straight from the PR company, uh, and it says they're progressive. I have not heard this, not heard it. Um, they're progressive is the genre, according to the, this is all according to the PR company. Uh, for fans of the Dillinger Escape Plan, Polyphia, and Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah. Okay, and here's what they say about them. See, this saves me doing any work whatsoever. Here's what they say. Progressive boundary-pushing quartet, unprocessed, have returned with their intense new single, Thrash. The band have also announced their third album and everything in between. Due for release, 1st December. It is 1st December. The masters of merging guitar-driven and virtuosic flavours of pop, rock and metal. Okay, I'm not really not sure what we're going to get now. I feel like we're going to get something quite technical, but I could be wrong. Um, firmly established as an innovative force in the progressive music world and lauded for their unique approach that transcends genre barriers. I've heard that one before. Uh, beautifully melodic, intensely brutal, technically jaw-dropping, and packed with hooks. It's truly mesmerising and unlike anything else. You can't trust PR companies. No offence, PR company. So, let's see what we get. After that, what do I think we're going to... What do I think we're going to get? I feel like we're going to get something quirky and all over the place because that's kind of what the what that description says to me genre defying usually means it's all over the place <laughs> i genuinely haven't seen this so who knows what we're going to get let's find out together <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, if I was the PR company, I'd be like, what the hell? Um, what the what am I going to write? What am I going to write? Let's put genre defying. Um, I mean, hats off to them. They're clearly super good at what they do, right? Super technical. In that, for fans of this, they could easily add animals as leaders in there because some of that guitar work is definitely animals as leaders. Z. Is that a word? No, definitely not, but it'll do. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, you've got to give them sort of credit for trying to push boundaries and do something new. It's not really my, for me, um, it's, it's a, not an easy listen, is it? They've got that very nice catchy, yeah, chorus, but, um, it's very, I mean, I'm going to use the word quirky, which is a nice lazy word I can hide behind. Um, that makes it quite a difficult listening places and their standout part of the song is that guitar part in the second half and and it works better than i would have believed it does but i still don't it's got a real one-off feel to it if you did that again in another song it, it you'd go ah again you know oh they're doing that again but totally hats off to them for for doing it at all i think it works better than than it should <laughs> um but it just makes it kind of more of a chin stroking listen you know where you're going mm, yes i see what they did there I, I wish paz was here actually because i would love to know what his opinion was on all of that um and i, I certainly don't want to put words into his mouth but i think he would say yeah I think he'd say roughly the same as me. Good, well done for trying something new. You've made it work. Don't do it again <laughs> because because it's like a trick sort of thing. You can only do tricks once, you know. Um, maybe they've got a big fan base and they're going to come on and flame me for in some way saying that it wasn't amazing. It is amazing. They are clearly brilliant musicians. It just doesn't work for me. And quite a lot of this quirky, super technical stuff doesn't. I like animals as leaders from a technical point of view, but I wouldn't choose to listen to it. You know, I had the same thing with um, Pliny. I mean, Pliny's a guitar god to his fan base, but I just found it a bit, eh, you know, so. And this is, of course, just my opinion. I'm just one person and I like the things I like and I don't like things I don't like and I'll give you reasons for it um I don't dislike this it just doesn't quite work for me you know I just can't get on board is basically what I'm saying mm. interested and genuinely interested to hear what people have to say about this um assuming you have something to say about it and not just saying yeah you're wrong moron okay you can see I'm anticipating someone coming and saying that, can't you? I'm anticipating, ah, someone's going to come. Someone's a big fan of theirs is going to come along and be very unhappy that I didn't fall off my chair going, oh my God. Let me know what you think. That was Unprocessed, a song called Thrash, for some reason, from this album called... Gosh, I had it. It was in my head. I was just about to say, and everything in between, it's called. Not out till the 1st of December, though, so, yeah, plenty of time to save you pennies. See you soon. Bye-bye.